Louise, drop my phone there. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I am an interventional radiologist in New York City. On today's video, we are going to be talking about the bad habits that you should stop doing right now. Not later, not in a week. These are the bad habits you need to stop right this second. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. Let's go. So let's talk about the very first bad habit you should stop doing right now, and that is the bane of all of our existences, especially if you have done any sort of schooling in your life or pretty much anything requiring productivity. But that bad habit is procrastination. Now, there is always an excuse you can come up with to do something later because this is like the easiest thing to do ever. Procrastination is literally so easy to do. You can find a way to fill your time by looking through your phone, browsing social media, or doing anything other than the task you are supposed to do. And the problem with procrastination is more than just not completing the task you are supposed to do, it's actually a loss of self-control in a sense. Because once you begin procrastinating, you've lost that self-control in order to complete tasks on time and control your ability to do so. It's a very dangerous path to go down and even more difficult to recover if you become a long time procrastinator. I have a rule that someone taught me a very long time ago that I kind of try to live by and it helps me with procrastination and that is if you have a task that you can complete in under a minute you should go ahead and do it right that second or you'll just put it off forever for example I have a ton of different emails for my business my social media stuff and I get them whether I'm in a procedure or not and it could just be a one-word answer but instead of replying to it I'll often leave it on red and be like okay I'll come back to it later but what I should do and what I have started to do is just reply immediately because it takes less than a minute and I don't have to put off that task until a later date. And it's like a snowball effect. You get on this self-control, non-procrastination, productivity high, and you tend to kind of add this into other aspects of your life as well. Trust me. All right, so the next thing you should stop doing immediately is neglecting your face which is why I'm happy to have Teach Hanley as a sponsor of today's video. They have helped me start and maintain my skincare regimen by making the process uncomplicated. Honestly, it's the best skincare system for me, and I promise it'll be for you too. I recommend you start with the level one system that comes with all of the basic essentials. You have the daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime throughout the day. You have the two time a week exfoliating scrub to help get rid of all those dead skin cells. The AM Moisturizer with 20 SPF to help you from those harmful sun rays. And the PM Moisturizer to help you stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. My favorite part about Teach Hanley is that every box comes with an information card that tells you when to use each product, how much, and in what order. They really make the process of achieving and maintaining healthy skin super easy. I've been using their products for a while now and I'm hooked. I actually look forward to my skincare routines every day. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the link in my description and you will not only get Teach Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also give you a free gift with your first box. Click the link in my description and get started today for just $25. Now, let's get back to the video. The next thing you should stop doing right this second is hanging out with toxic people. Many people do this and it's very easy to surround yourself with people who take advantage of your kindness. These kind of people do more harm than good. Having people like this in your life will create a one-sided relationship. It will eventually create more stress in your life that you wouldn't have had otherwise if you weren't hanging out with these toxic and ungrateful individuals. And let's not forget the main thing about hanging out with these toxic individuals is that they lower your self-esteem. The last thing you need to do is spend your valuable time with those people who bring you down rather than lift you up. Friends should motivate you. They should want to see you succeed and they should push you and help you achieve your goals. When you're hanging out with these toxic folks, they do the exact opposite, which kind of pushes you down and doesn't allow you to be as successful as you could be. Another rule of thumb of mine is to surround yourself with successful people if you want to be successful. Once you're in that successful group, it's easy for you to kind of feed off of each other and become successful together rather than have have someone bring you down all the time. Who wants that? Who needs people like that in their life? But the problem is it's easier said than done to get rid of these people, but you need to get rid of these people and you need to come to a realization that these people are slowing you down and limiting you. You have to get rid of these people in order to succeed. All right, so the next thing you should stop doing immediately is to stop blaming other people for your own mistakes. 
Let's face it, if things don't go your way, it's always easier to blame someone else. It's easier to find a scapegoat for your mistake because it makes it feel a little less personal and it kind of distances you from your own mistake and it ultimately makes it less real. And until you take accountability for your mistakes, you can't change anything. So take responsibility for your own actions and stop blaming other people. All right, so the next thing you should stop doing immediately is stop living in the past. We all have come in contact with people like this. They dwell on the past, talking about how they wish they would have done things differently and gone down a different path. They constantly talk about the changes they would have made if they could go back and do it all over again. Well, I hate to tell you, but you can't go back and do it all over again. You can't do anything about these past situations, so why dwell on them? Why would you not just think about the future and go forward? Yeah, I look back and think about how, oh, I wish I would have gone to med school at like 21 instead of starting at 25 or whenever I did, but I can't do anything about it now and I'm already a physician, so what the heck does it even matter? Why talk about it? What's done is done and you should be excited about things to come in your future or things coming in your life, not dwelling on the past because that's not how you go forward and look forward to new opportunities and new things. So please, don't be that person that dwells on the past, create your own path going forward. The next one's a big one, and I know there's people out here that needs to hear this, sometimes myself included, and that is to stop complaining. Have you ever asked someone about their day and the only thing that comes out of their mouth is negative things that happened or complaining about how exhausting it is or how bad a day it was or just complaining about like literally everything. When you're around those people that are just constantly complaining, all you hear is just like endless negativity coming out of their mouth. Yes, as we all know, life is very difficult and going through life is extremely difficult and is full of ups and downs. You can vent, you can complain every now and then, but nobody wants a complainer full time. It's easier to complain than keep a positive mindset and focus on the ultimate goal. Let's face it, everybody has down days and it's easy to get caught up in these down days. But you don't wanna be that person that complains about it and surrounds yourself with other people that also complain about things. All of that negativity will just bring yourself down, but you need to look for more positive people that will in turn make you more positive and give you a more positive outlook. So stop complaining right now and try to find more positive things, even amongst the negative things. I hope that makes sense. The next thing you should stop doing now is stop being so hard on yourself. If you're a goal setter or an entrepreneur or like to set high expectations for yourself, sometimes we don't exactly hit those high marks that we're searching for. And that's okay, but you should beat yourself up for not meeting such high expectations. Because the point of any goal is to set high expectations for yourself so that you hopefully achieve success along the way. And I know you've probably heard this quote before, but Vince Lombardi, former Green Bay Packers coach from years ago, said it best. He said, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can reach excellence along the way, or something to that effect. You get it. So these are just a few of bad habits that I see on a daily basis and that I see when I'm talking to other people on a daily basis and things that I see when people reach out to me over social media. So hopefully this could have helped some of you all and kind of make you reframe your mindset and think more positively. That's ultimately the goal of this video. I'm not trying to sound like a motivational speaker. I just want you to kind of have a positive mindset because it's easy to fall into this negativity trap, dwelling on the past, beating yourself up over things, surrounding yourself with negative people. All that is easy, but the goal is to change that, be more positive, surround yourself with successful people that bring you up, and ultimately, you'll be successful and meet any goal you could possibly set for yourself. So as always, make sure you smash like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already, and I guess I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.